Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Evolution, a world of sacred device. I'm Nye, and this is probably one of my favorite games ever made. It's hard to say why. It probably has to do with the fact that it was one of my first games ever that I ever actually beat all the way through. Uh, this originally came out on the Dreamcast a long, long time ago, 1998, I believe, or somewhere thereabouts, 1999. Uh, it was the first RPG on the Dreamcast, I believe, and uh, it was one of my introductions to RPGs ba way back when I was a little kid. Which was originally owned by my brother, actually, who had absolutely no interest in video games, so I played it instead. And uh, I quickly fell in love with the game. I think part of it has to do with the main characters. We've got Mag there with his Psy frame, and Linear is the girl who's with him. It may have had something to do with the gameplay, which is a strict dungeon diving experience, and it may have something to do with how fantastic of a world uh, was created in here. You can kind of see Mag is a uh, little bit of an adventurer. He's a little bit of a dungeon diver, Indiana Jones style guy, but doesn't seem to quite have the same sort of experience as uh, Indy does. And things seem to just happen around him. Like, say, a gigantic, uh, you know, satellite dish being created out of nothing. An ancient satellite dish beaming something into outer space in an opening cutscene that has absolutely nothing to do with the actual game itself. Welcome to Evolution. Let's get started. So one of the cool things about Evolution is that as soon as you get into the main screen, if you don't have a save already on your uh, VMU, which I do not, you press start, and the game immediately throws you into nonsense. As soon as you start up, the game throws you immediately into combat. It wants you to learn how to do things right off the bat. And this is one of the older style RPGs. It's one of the turn-based combat games, which I love so very much. And it also has an ATB battle system. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. As much less ATB and more, it does keep track of who goes when. It's not just a us than you. It's a there is a turn. You can see the turn order on the right-hand side. First is Linear, who is the girl right there. She t goes first, then Mag, who's in the middle, and then our two enemies go next. Well, it's a pretty easy game uh, to start out with. Uh, all we have to do is just straight up attack these guys, and it shouldn't be too much trouble to take, down, take out the Big Ben and uh, whatever that other creature's name is. Tried to use a uh, Poison On ability on me. Didn't quite work. It's the Millipede, apparently. Level 1 Millipede. There is no confirmation in this game. It doesn't ask you, you know, are you sure you want to attack? You just, you just go and go do things. So that was our first combat. It was a very easy combat because the game is just kind of introducing us to things, but there is no real tutorial. It just lets you go, uh, which uh, was uh, always fun for me. And then we go immediately into a cutscene. So Mag has uh, just said <laughs> that was a wimpy monster, just a piece of cake, not even a problem. And we've come this far. The treasure must be nearby, and he wants to know if Linear can still go on. The linear's... You know, silent protagonist a little bit. So uh, we are off to officially be back in business. And then Mag just sort of demonstrates the Psy frame he has. And I don't know... <laughs> it, I mean, this is one of those let's introduce the player to a concept thing. So it's introducing us to the fact that Mag has this thing on his back that will mimic his movements. But, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, look at this. This will get us out of the, stickiest, or the trickiest situations. Why does he need to tell her that? It's Linear's... You'll find this out. Linear's been with him for quite a long time, and that Psy frame's nothing new. Why does he have to tell her that? So, uh, you know, off they go, and it's not even they have to go very far. In the very next room. Very next room. This is so obvious. It must be a trap. Linear happens to agree with Mag on this. So Mag just moves up ever so slowly, gradually checking his corners, and steps on the obvious trap. Yep. Linear just sort of steps into the box, because... You know, that's the intelligent way to do things. And uh, the trap immediately affects the wall. Mag doesn't believe it. It's something. It's a trap. Now, well, I mean, it is. This game uses the word trap rather liberally. Hey, Linear, do you think you maybe want to run along with Mag and not get crushed? Now would be the time to go, girl. There you go. The game uses the word trap rather liberally. It doesn't necessarily mean just things that will kill you. Traps can be good things, too. What were you doing? You have to run away when things get dangerous. And Linear just pat, pat, pat. <laughs> and just over Mag's head. <laughs> Mag's not hurt. Double check and see if Linear's hurt. Wants to know what Linear happens to be looking at. Linear, what are you doing? Just the girl wandering around the ruins for no particular reason. And up she looks to see... That is a really big uh, mural of some sort. 
That painting, it's the messenger of light, it's the one the society told him about. The society, capitalized S, it's important. They did it. The treasure must be on top of the picture. But how on earth are they going to get there? That that picture rather reminds me of uh, certain pictures from uh, Trigun, personally. I don't know about you guys. But uh, now we learn the main character's full name, Mag Launcher. And he's still going on adventures with a scaredy cat girl. No, it couldn't be that voice. It couldn't be my nemesis. Yep, it is. It's Chain. This is our nemesis from from childhood, apparently. And Chain has helped herself to all the treasure. Where did you get that treasure? It's, she's an adventurer as well. And finders keepers, the only rule, apparently. She's just going to be a dick about it. It's cool. There's no way his side frame could have made it up there, because unlike hers, his can't fly. That's true. Chain has a jetpack. Seriously. That's, that's what that is. It's a jetpack. And, ja and Chain can fly. So, uh, we should be grateful to her for saving us all the needless effort. See? Flying. Big freaking thing on Shane's back. Don't, don't even... I don't know about the design of this thing. Shane heard this noise, saw us running for our lives, and a pro shouldn't fall for a trap like that. It was... I, I mean, it is... That is a point. That was a very obvious trap. Even Mag knew it was a trap and went over and stepped on the thing. Mag wants to call, start calling names, and Chain says that we shouldn't even be here interrupting her work. Or specifically, Linear shouldn't be here interrupting Chain's work. Linear's kind of upset about this. Mag says that uh, Chain's frightening Linear, and up goes Linear. Who's mad? Just saying what any professional would say. I love the look of Linear's face. And in comes Mag with the retort. It's that short temper of yours that always makes people mistake you for a man. Yep, that's a girl. If you could just stay calm and quiet, you could actually be kind of cute. Which gets all over... Like, Chain can't even handle that. What does that have to do with anything? Yep. Chain, hmm. Instead of arguing, we're working together to do the best job we can so we can be proud to be adventurers. Let me put it that way. Chain would not mind helping us out. After all, it would be a hundred times more useful than the amateur gore linear. Yeah, Chain has, Chain has opinions on linear. <laughs> if we ever need Chain's help, we can just go to Chain's place. So, if we want Chain to join us, we can go to Chain's place. It's the hint that later on, when you get to choose party members, no one could ever accuse Chain of not speaking her mind. And now Mag has to get upset because Chain took all the treasure with her. Without the treasure, Mag won't make any money on the assignment. Again. <coughs> sucks to be... Sucks to be Mag. And Linear just pat, pat, pats. So now we're introduced to our main town. This is Pan Am Town, the town of ruins and archaeology. There's that girl who's always checking her watch. There's Mag and Linear in the background. This is the society. See? Big sign, society. It's also kind of off-kilter, which tells you exactly how much people care. This is an archaeological research institute. It's a big box of a building. Check out these lovely graphics from a very, very long time ago. This is like, what, 15 years ago, 16 years ago? This is a long time ago. It's amazing how far graphics have advanced since then. So up runs Mag and Linear up to their house. Another assignment ends in failure, and he can just see Gray's angry light in a vase. He'll get another long lecture. Gray, that's a rather unique name. As well as Linear, and for that matter, Mag, and Chain. We have a lot of very unique names in this game. Here it comes, ready? There's Gray. So Gray, is, as he understands it, Mag reached destination, and he's about to begin collecting the treasure, but Chain Gun beats us to it. Beats two to it. Chain Gun. That is the name of that young girl who just chided us a while ago. Yep. Our mission ends in failure, and we get nothing from society, and that sums it up. Mag is kind of embarrassed about all this. He sort of had used a lot of items, so he lost money on this assignment. Ha ha ha. And Gray starts crying. Sort of had to? Lost money? Listen to yourself! How pathetic! For generations, the Launcher family... Launcher. That would be Mag's family. Mag Launcher. Yep. Has produced these most renowned adventurers in these parts. Surely we remember that it's the Launcher family's dream to find Evolutia, the legendary Cyframe. We'll learn what Cyframes are a little bit later. However, now our operations lose money we depend on the side to work. Thank you, Gray, for all the exposition. Someday we will find Evolutia, and we are depending on Mag, which is kind of a scary thought. Well, Gray worries too much. He knows what to do. He won't make any more mistakes anymore. Promise! Seriously. Fingers crossed. Pinky square. And Gray truly hopes so. And 
Stage Whisper. <laughs> Mag, you don't know the importance of your position as head of the Laundra family. Or do I just worry too much? He is too carefree. He lacks seriousness. He is downright irresponsible. And Mag back there. I'm standing right here, man. Uh, I love this game so much. Nonetheless, I've, I've served the Laundra family for many years, and I've seen many adventures. My expertise tells me that his puzzling confidence is the making of a true leader. Someday he will grow into the magnificent adventurer that I know he can be. Turn around, stage whisper over, directly to him. Now then, Mag, you and I must work together to make that glorious day come. Sure. I also love the expressions on the faces. They, they went for an anime style, and I think they actually made it work. So we got to begin immediately. Mag just got home. We must begin immediately by going into town to ask society for a brand new assignment. Instead of sitting around, let's go and earn the big bucks. That's a good idea, Mag. Let's go, Linear. Let's go get a new assignment from society. Okay. Well, that's all the expo exposition that the game gives us. It just kind of ends there. So now we're given free reign. The game's available to us. We have items. A variety of them. What's the... There's that. That's the store button. So we have a variety of items that we don't really care about because they're not useful right now. I've got to get used to this controller. We have equipment that we can look into. I'm not going to bother with that until later on because there's nothing we can do about it. Skills that I'm not going to bother talking about until we actually get to them. Status I'm not going to bother talking about until it's important. The party formation dispersed, which I'm not going to talk about. And config. Uh, anything I care about, actually? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll get used to this. Okay. So, this is one of the very cool games where uh, the characters actually do follow you around. So notice that Linear is following me around wherever I go, and when we get our third party member, which will happen fairly soon, they'll follow me around too. This actually is important, because I'm not the only character in the game, if... well, you'll see. It's also another game where we can investigate basically whatever we want. The blossoms are so beautiful, flowers make a place so bright and cheery, and you can see why Linear likes flowers. Give us a little bit of information about the... Uh, about the area, if we so chose, if we actually want to go and get information. I kind of don't. I want to jump. Because it always amuses me, the allies behind you will jump with you. I always loved that. So we got this little dude right here, Nash. Nash is waiting for us. He wanted to see us. Just pushes Mag out of the way. And says he knows that we've repaid some of the money we owe, but uh, we're apparently, we've got a long way to go. We owe a lot of money. So come on, Linear, don't say with a loser like Mag. The smart money is on this little kid, Nash. Really gets on Mag's nerves. You can see the kind of look on his face. God! This is Linear, or this is, um, Chain Gun's trailer. That thing right there. Okay, let's go, uh... There's this lady. I love talking to this lady. This is Miss Melon. Really? She just got here and doesn't even have her clothes. The ship with the baggage can't dock because the 8th Imperial Army. So there's, there's something going on with the Imperial Army. It's the 8th one. And she wished she didn't have to stay in these clothes in such heat. She's getting a rash. Look, right here. And uh, Mag just starts stuttering. Well, th that's d d bad, miss. Well, how cute. You're blushing. Is this your first time seeing that much skin? Or is she really that attractive? Ah, uh, there's some good stuff here. Okay, let's go to the society. So this is the society. It's a big brick. Big, big, big block. So there's a couple things in the society. First, we got this guy. But we're going to talk to him momentarily, and then we'll forget for the rest of the game. This is Leonardo. And he wants to know, doesn't the Northrop Republic value scholarly research? Well, who are they? We don't know. The Society's international headquarters are here, and its political clout is stronger than any other countries. Okay. For that reason, he wants to get into a good university and eventually work with society. That's great, but what about the Northrop Republic? Why is that important? He's making money while he learns. It's called killing two birds with one stone. Fantastic. And apparently, Mag's going to make money with his assignments, and he will have fun on an adventure. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we get a little bit of hint to something called the North Republic, but we don't get any other information. If we go back here, there's a museum. And there's nothing in here. Mr. Curator, why is there nothing in the museum? He finished the exhi exhibition room, but the only piece displayed now is the sun mass discovered by Chain. The sun mass is believed to have been left by the ancient peoples whose god was the god of Popo. It's thought to have been used in ceremonial rituals, but it needs to be researched further. That's really amazing. Don't you think so, Linear? Look, see, here's that treasure from when Chain beat him out and got to it first. Discovered by Chain Gun, the Sun Mass is a gold mass left by the ancients who were the model for the god of the Popo tribe from long ago. Its original purpose is unknown, but is believed to have been used in ceremonial rituals. Yep. There's a lot of descriptions like that in this game. So, we can go talk to this guy. That's Nop. Okay. How's the iframe working? Uh, he wants us to be careful with our iframe. It's probably no longer true, but in the past there have been trouble with the electrical circuits. 
until the raw material of the special subatomic particles used in the central section of the circuits was explained. Is it too specialized? Oh, okay. Is there something you'd like to look at all? So if we ever, uh... No, never mind. I don't have anything for you. If we ever get items in the ruins that we go to that we don't know what they are, he will appraise them for us, and then he can tell us what they are. Until then, his glasses will continue falling off all day long. Watch, see? Right there. Or we can go talk to, I think it's Mina? Nina, that's what it is. Welcome to society. Are we on adventure with the linear? Of course we are. You could say that. So, do you have any assignments? Please, please. We need one, because we took a beating on that last assignment. Chain beat us to the treasure at the last minute. Because, you, you know. And Nina already knows. She has heard about that before. She's going to keep on messing with her ponytails all day long. Pigtails, whatever it is. Did, <laughs> did Gray give us his standard lecture again? How can you let that happen? Apparently, uh, you know, she's very well informed. She's pretty much a veteran of the society. That's an insult. You never say, uh, never use the word veteran. Veteran? Are you referring to her my age? She resents that. This has a lot of experience here. A lot of experience. Experience. Unlike people sent from other offices, she was born in this town. A lot of experience. That's a veteran. See, Meg understands. No insult required. She wishes that somewhere there were... Uh, well, there's supposed to be more to that. Somewhere there were... Uh, I can't remember what the rest of the phrase is supposed to be. Somewhere there were... It's either there were more adventurers or there were places that were unvisited, something like that. But, uh... That, maybe that was Mag. I can't remember. Someone said something to the effect of somewhere there were. And it says, Dream on if such places exi existed, the society would have sent its own people to investigate them long ago. But they can't, and that's why they like us. Okay, so... What Nina does is she gives us assignments... So we get to choose ruins to go to, to explore, to get stuff. There are five ruins in the game. And we get to decide which ones we want to go to. So the question is, which one do we want to go to? The Blind Ruins. Buried deep in the jungle, located in the marshy spot with water, water everywhere. Lots of water-type enemies. The Heaven Ruins is a wooden tower of ruins located deep in a forest. Lush with moss and mushrooms and is steadily merging to the surrounding landscape. I can't remember what they... I think it's a poison set of ruins. The Shades Ruins are located in a cold, high plateau. Inside, the temperatures drop steadily as you descend into the icy rooms. Ice, obviously. Shoal Ruins. Ruins in a volcanic, uh, volcanic zone with molten lava everywhere. Discovered after a volcanic eruption a few years ago. Fire Ruins. And the Descent Ruins, which are a tower-shaped ruin said to be built as an ancient astronomical observatory. Electricity Ruins. We're going to start with Blind Ruins. Are we sure we want those ruins? Really, really sure? Of course, I know what I'm doing. She'll get us clearance right away, and we can leave on our new adventure whenever we're ready. They're far, but it's no problem, because our family has a seaplane. Well, thank you. I did not know that. Thank you, Nina, for letting me know. Just a hop from the landing field. Well, good luck, and let's give it our best. We cannot cancel uh, our thing now. Now we've taken, a, we've taken a mission. We cannot cancel it. So the next thing we need to do before we leave town is we need to go here, to the shop. Hello. Hi, person. It's a little shopping, and it's hard to explore with the proper equipment, regardless of our debts. This is the same as usual, apparently. The guide on the counter explains the rules. Read it carefully. User's guide on how to buy things. When purchasing an item, refer to the window below for a description of the item. Well, fantastic. That's really easy. To confirm equipment status changes, move the cursor and hit the menu button. X, if not change it in the config. And valuable and ancient artifacts cannot be traded here. Please take them to the society. Wonderful. Is there anything we need? Sure. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything I care about? Okay, so, uh... This is guy. He's he's our general store. He'll he buys and sells everything, including actual equipment. So if you look down the bottom there, see how it says NG. That's no good. So that means that, like for instance, the headgear, uh, Mag can wear it, but Linear cannot. So it's no good for Linear, for, but it's okay for Mag. Whereas a gym suit, it's okay for Linear, but not okay for Mag. And then Amulet Confusion, Amulet Paralysis can be used on either one. Uh, and then if we press X, we then get this thing that comes up that shows the exact stat changes, which is something I wish more RPGs did. But uh, Linear is actually already wearing the bodysuit, and Mag is already wearing the headgear. No, I do not want that. No, 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 no. Yeah, go away. Okay, so we don't actually need anything from there. I was just joking. Not needed. Let's go over here. I can't remember if I actually have anything I'm allowed to do here. So this right here is the Cyframe Shop. This is Sam the Upgrader. We're apparently a very hard worker, so we'll tell Linear to go away because she doesn't have a Cyframe. So we could power up our parts, which allows us to increase the damage on our sign frame part, which is something we're going to learn about in the next 10 minutes or so. Or we can add slots, but I don't have an upgrade kit, so I can't do anything. So I can't do anything here. In life, it's important to avoid extremes, like spending money on something you don't need right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that was interesting. Now we're ready to go. 
So the next thing you need to do whenever you are playing in Skies of Arc <laughs> Skies of Arcadia, yeah. Another Dreamcast game, but that's not this one. Another one you need to do when you're playing Evolution is you need to go pick a third party member. And there's really only one third party, a third party member that you should ever be picking. God, it's very hard to say. It's always this guy. Always. It's always Gray. We appear to have received a new assignment. Shall Gray assist us? Yeah, come with me. Understood. He is willing to accompany us if we are willing to have him. Gray has joined the party. Watch. Jump. Everybody jumps. Everybody. And Gray has the best jump ever. Star jump. Thank you, Gray. So there's a... Uh, well, how much of this do we want to get into now? Hmm. Well, there's a reason you pick Gray. Because there's uh, three choices in third-party member suits you can pick at any given time. And the reason you pick Gray is that he doesn't charge you for his services. In order to travel to the ruins in search of adventure, board the seaplane, the Sea Otter. If you look in... Uh, I forget which ones it is. But if you look in the various boxes around this place... This drum is empty. Sometimes you can actually find items. There's uh, certain healing items, things like that. I don't feel I'm looking for them. So instead, we're going to go and board the Sea Otter. With the Sea Otter Seaplane, we can go to the ruins near Pan Am Town or anywhere else in just one hop. Take off the ruins. So we just go for the ruins. That's it. That's that, that's easy as that. And now we are in the ruins. So yeah, um, every time you complete a set of ruins, you will have to, uh, you know, you'll get paid for it. To, and you want to use the payment to pay off your family's debt, among other things. The problem is, other adventurers want money for their services, as you might expect, so they can buy stuff. Gray does not ask for money. In addition to that, he has some really awesome skills. We want Gray. He's awesome. Okay. So, we are in the middle of our dungeon. This is a dungeon diving game. This is a dungeon exploration game, so every dungeon is completely randomly generated. Uh, the further you go in the dungeon, the bigger the floors are, the more enemies, things like that. If you look in our... Did you do walk button? If you look, we have a... Nope, 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 go away. Nope, go away. Don't want you. If you look, we have that little mini-map, that little blue map right there that has the white dot in the right-hand corner. That'll tell us exactly where we are on any given floor. Unfortunately, the mini-map does not turn with my camera angle, which uh, is kind of obnoxious. Uh, isn't there... Nope, apparently not. Okay. That white dot means we have a treasure chest. Let's go open that. And that treasure chest gives us, give us, gives us Naolin, which is just our healing item du jour. Whenever you're walking down hallways, you always want to stay near the edge of the uh, hallway. See that little this thing right here? See that little discoloration right there? That's a trap. So traps can be good. Traps can also be bad. We don't really want to mess with them much, so we're going to try to stick to the outside of the hallways because traps always spawn on the inside. And we want to try to fill in the map as much as we possibly can as we go through. There we go. Because we want to get as much stuff as we can. But furthermore, we want to fight as many monsters as we can. The game is not very friendly when it comes to uh, throwing us against heavy monsters. Okay, see? Monster? Oh, hello, I got engaged. Who did I get engaged by? Did I not see someone? Okay, well, we have combat. So combat's really easy. In fact, this is one of the easier combats I've ever had to play. So you'll notice that I'm on a 3x3 three three grid. You can only see three, uh, three steps right now. That's all Mag can move. So he's in the middle. There's front, back, middle. Middle is just the average. You have decent defenses, you deal decent damage, and that's about it. If I spend a move to move Mag to the front, like this, now Mag has less defense, but he has more offense. And if I take Linear and move her to the back, she has less offense, but she has more defense, which is really nice. That's where we're going to want to leave Linear at any given point in time. Uh, gray, we're going to want to move to the front. I should have fixed this before we started combat, but I want to show that off anyways. Okay, so, we have our basic attacks. Notice that Mag attacks with the uh, side frame and it kind of follows his movements. So we just got a bunch of stuff. Got some experience. I'm going to explain more about combat in just a few moments. So notice that we have that enemy just on the field. The game actually allows you to encounter or dodge enemies in the field kind of as you so fit. We just picked up the Thief's Wire. I forget what that does. I think it disarms traps. What we get to do is if we are able to get around behind an enemy in the field, which I didn't, uh, you get a, pri a priority move. You are able to actually take an entire move set before the enemies get to go, and then an additional set of moves. So see how in our move set right now, the Big Ben went first, then Linear, then Mag, then Enemy, then Gray, then Enemy. If we had gotten the drop on them, it would have been Linear, Mag, Gray, then Linear, Mag, Enemy, Gray, Enemy. 
so it's always good to try to get behind the enemy, so you'll see me try to do as much as I possibly can. Keep in mind the reverse is also true. If an enemy gets behind me, and keep in mind they can get behind Linear or Gray in the field, that's why it's very important to watch who's in the field with you. Uh, but if they are able to do that, uh, they will, uh, you know, they will get the drop on us as well. Linear did a decent amount of damage there. So the general idea is to get rid of whatever enemy is between you and the next turn. Gray's also awesome because he shoots rifles. But for instance, we're tr we want to try, whenever possible, to kill the next enemy that gets to go. Because if we kill them, then that's less enemy turns, which means that we are going to uh, get to take our turns more often, which means less damage to us. Now we're getting a lot of stuff popping up on screen at the end of any given battle. That 20 that you saw pop up just now, that wasn't experience. That was, uh, SP? FP? Let's go look. It's our skills menu. Let's go into, uh, TP. Let's go into Mag's hand parts. So these are all the skills Mag has, apart from just shooting. These are all the ones that, uh, Linear has. These are all the ones that Gray has. You'll notice that Mag has slots. That's because he's a Cyframe user. So, I can change what his skills are by changing what's in his slots. I would just have to actually have an item that does it. So, for instance, he has his hand parts, his lightning hand parts, and eventually I'll get other things like thief parts. Linear and Gray are not Cyframe users, so they just have a dedicated set of abilities. So, Linear has the strength type, spell type, status type, whereas Gray has storytelling type and spirit type, custom type, so on and so forth. If we go into one of the categories, we will see exactly what skills are available. So, you'll notice that Mag has Magna Punch, that's his current ability. You'll notice that it is currently lit up. It says how many FP is required to use, 20. So it requires 20 FP, which is our magic points, basically, to attack. And it also has current, it says our current TP. Well, what's TP, you might ask? Well, TP is used to learn a new skill. TP is what you've been seeing us gain at the end of any given battle. So I just gained 20 from that one battle, about seven from the previous one, or something like that. So if I get 50 TP, I can master the charge punch skill, but I don't have 50 TP, so I can't. But that's what that is. Let's go open up this chest. We have picked up special item, Trap Search. Awesome. Let's go look at that. We've got some items. So we have our Thieves Wire, a tool for increasing manual dexterity. This is an accessory. Let's go ahead and, uh, I think we're gonna change the rocket to the Thieves Wire. Let's see, Hits is up. Hits is our accuracy. Uh, it decreases defense by five and just decreases luck by three. Luck, uh, affects critical hit, among other things. But I'd rather have hits, because that, uh, is really good. Every character starts with an accessory, and they're usually custom for that character. So Mag gets the rocket, uh, Linear, I forget what they get. Gray gets his, uh, gets his handkerchief, I think. No, that's his head slot. I can't remember. He gets his pocket watch, that's what it is. So we're going to explore. And I said, it's mostly about exploring the floors. This is a fairly, fairly large floor one. So at the end of the floor, we'll get a couple extra treasures. So we got a hunting gun, which is for Gray. And we got a purifying potion, which is an item. Let's go ahead and equip that hunting gun to Gray. Uh, equip. Gray, weapon, old style gun. We're going to change it to hunting gun. Increases attack by 15. That's a really good drop for floor one. Really happy for that. Now, keep in mind, when I say floor one, we're going to keep this stuff that I'm getting. It's not like, you know, we lose this stuff and we leave. But this is a really early drop, so I'm really glad to get it. So before we leave, we're going to go into formation on our party, and we're going to decide how we want our formation to go. So I want Gray and Mag up front, and I want Linear in the back. And I have them set up this sort of way, because certain enemy skills will target two, uh, like, people next to each other. And I want to make sure that Mag and Gray are not directly next to each other. So that's good. Okay. Excellent. Now, unfortunately, because we have not hit floor five, and uh, you get multiples of fives when you're actually allowed to escape or save, I can't actually leave between episodes. But I do need to end the episode, because this is going to take a while. The uh, dungeon diving is one of the longer portions of the game. So, this is going to cut us off here. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Evolution, World of Sacred Device.